Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore some fundamental concepts in geology. Folds, faults, and stratified rocks. Understanding these features is crucial for interpreting Earth's geological history and processes. Now we start with folds. Folds are bends in rock layers caused by tectonic forces. Folds are structural deformation and rock layers that occurs when the Earth's tectonic plates move. These movements are typically the results of stress applied to the rocks, which can be caused by various tectonic processes, including compression, tension, and shear. There are three types of folds. We have anticlines, synclines, and monoclines. So now we start with anticlines. Anticlines are a type of fold in rock layers that are upwards resembling an inverted V or a dome shape. In these structures, the oldest rock layers are typically found at the core of the fold, while younger layers are located on the flanks. Anticlines often serve as traps for oil and gas, making them critical location for exploration and extraction. Anticlines can influence the landscape by creating ridges and valleys, contributing to the diversity of topographical features. Next, we have a synclines. Synclines are geological folds that arch downward, resembling a through or a U shape in a syncline. The youngest rock layers are found in the core of the, whole, of the fold while older layers are situated on the outer flanks, St. Clines exhibit a concave upward appearance where the rock layers dip towards the center of the fold. The folding occurs through plastic deformation where rock layers bend rather than fracture under stress. Factors such as temperature, pressure, and a type of rock influence, the extent and nature of the folding. Next, we have monoclines. Monoclines are geological structures characterized by a simple step-like bend in otherwise horizontal rock layers, unlike folds such as anticlines and synclines, which involve complex upward and downward arches. Monoclines represent a more straightforward deformation where the rock layers are titled in one direction. So those are the three types of folds and conclusion. Folds can reveal a lot about the tectonic history of an area. Anticlines and synclines often form in response to compressional forces, while monoclines can include underlying geological structures. So let's proceed to the folds. Folds are fractures in the earth crust where movement has occurred. There are three types of folds. We have normal folds, reverse or trust folds, and strike sleep folds. Now we start, start uh, normal folds. Normal folds is, is uh, occurred due to extensional forces. Uh, the hanging wall moves down relative to, to the football. Reverse or truss folds. Reverse or truss folds is a result from compressional forces and hanging wall moves up. And lastly, we have a strike slip folds. Strike slip folds is involved horizontal movement. So folds are critical in understanding seismic activity. They can generate earthquakes and studying them helps geologists access risk and different regions. Now let's proceed to stratified rocks. Stratified rocks are sedimentary rocks formed from the accumulation of sediments and layers. We have three formation processes. We have deposition, compaction, and sedimentation. Now we start with deposition. Deposition is the sediment settle in various environments like rivers, lakes, and ocean. 
Compaction. Compactions are overtime layers of sediment are compressed by the weight of overlying material. Cementation. Cementation is a mineral precipitate from water and bind the sediments together. So stratified rocks can tell us about past environments and climate condition. They often contain fossils providing insights into the Earth's bio biological history. Now let's proceed to the importance of folds, folds, and certified rocks. Understanding these geological features is crucial for several reasons. Now we have three importance of folds, folds, and certified rocks. We have natural resources, earthquake risk assessment, and paleo environments. Now we start a uh, natural resources. Natural resources are many oil and gas deposits are found in folded and folded rocks. Earthquake risk assessment. Earthquake risk assessment is identifying faults, helps in predicting and, and mitigating earthquake hazards. Now we have the lastly, we have the paleo environments. Paleo environments are stratified rocks provide information about past climates and ecosystem, aiding in climate change studies. In summary, folds, folds and stratified rocks are integral components of our planet's geological framework. They help us understand Earth's history, predict natural disasters, and locate variable sources. So thank you very much. I hope that you learned this informative video.